Praise the Lord. Enlarge your vision. Morning Manna, July 1st. And the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, Behold now, the place where we dwell with thee is too straight for us. 2 Kings chapter 6 verse 1. Here, Elisha is a type of our Lord Jesus Christ. Just as the sons of the prophets lived with Elisha, you may be living in fellowship with Jesus and yet may not realize that the place where we dwell is too straight or small, for us. Unless we realize how narrow-minded we are, how limited our spiritual vision and ambition is, we may never desire an enlarged spiritual life. To be useful to the Lord, we should have an enlarged vision and a large heart. The saints who lived in the past were not born as saints, but they all had a vision of the great plan God had about them. Jabez prayed that the Lord may enlarge his territory. The Lord granted his request and it became more honorable than his brothers, 1 Chronicle 4-9 and 10. God must raise sons and daughters of Jabez in these days, people who are honorable and blessed in the sight of God and men. The sin of the people of Israel was that they limited the Holy One of Israel, Psalm 78:41. Our limited ideas and understanding may arrest the hands of God and prevent Him from doing great things in us and for us and through us. Attempt great things for God, expect great things from God, said a certain man of God. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Our vision should be God's vision. Our ambition should be God's ambition. Then our thoughts will be God's thoughts and, we will have a Christ life as the ultimate result. Have a day, of being upheld by God's love. Subscribe and press the bell icon below for more biblical creatives. Your subscription may bring you a free gift and God's lot of blessings.